today we're gonna to be looking at our Navis Windy Anemometer. So as detailed here, we are looking at three main components of your anemometer, and I'm gonna walk you through putting it together. So to start off with, we have our mounting hardware. The hardware is a self-leveling bracket and a set of magnets. Uh, once you have your setup, you would take the sensor. The sensor installs in the bracket as so, and then you're gonna fasten it down with an Allen key. So everything that you see here can be put together and taken apart with basic tools, Allen keys, and just a small wrench. Once that's fastened down, we apply our anemometer cups. Give it a spin, everything's working. And now to install. And it's done. It's worth noting that most of our Navis anemometer systems are also compatible with wind speed and direction sensors. So this sensor here will give you both wind speed information as well as direction. And once it's installed, it's not coming off unless you really want it to come off. Now, I'm gonna show you how to set up your smartphone. So now we're gonna go walk through the setup of the smartphone application for the Navis Windy Anemometer. To download the application, you either navigate to the App Store on your iPhone or the Google Play Store on your Android. Once in the App Store, you will look for Navis Windy. So this is a free application that is supplied by Navis, and this will let you interact with your Navis Anemometer. Once installed, you will navigate to the application and you can then go into settings and actually sync to the anemometer. So to sync to your system, you will look for the address. So the address on the anemometer is listed as AD followed by a two-digit number. That two-digit number will be then uploaded into the address module. So in this case, we are looking at 74. And before we exit, we'll then take a look at some of the other settings that we can have adjusted, um, such as unit of measurement if you're preferential to kilometers per hour, miles per hour, meters per second. Uh, we can also go in here and set whether or not we are wanting to use the audible alarm. So with the alarm, we can turn that on. Uh, we can turn on the sound for the alarm and we can set the value. So for testing purposes, I'm gonna set it at five and we are at kilometers per hour. So this will alarm once this anemometer is registered over five kilometers an hour. So now that everything has been inputted, I'm going to hit save and it's gonna bring me to my blank screen with my blank figure. And when I go to spin the anemometer, we will get our readout along with our audible alarm. There we go, we are now set up and you officially have a safety zone of 100 meters in any direction from the sensor.